media. Not the king of all media. We call him the king, Mike <laughs> Stepan Kevin. You're so special. I, sound, I feel like I sound weird. Well, you are weird. But uh, dun, dun, dun. I feel like I sound weird. <sighs> they don't hear the music. The music doesn't. Music doesn't play into the camera. Yeah, it's weird. Hmm. It's weird. My production manager needs some work. Man, well, I, I sound can. low. I don't. I don't, I don't think so. Okay. If you, if you say so, we'll just go with it. We'll go with it. So, hi, Mike. Oh, much better. All I did was turn the volume up. Okay. <laughs> Thank. I don't. I don't know if that. Turns the volume if up that, in there too. That conveys. It, I don't. I don't know. But I can turn the volume up oh. on that thing as loud as you want when I edit it. Well, we have a new camera. Yes, today is the first. Uh, I think there's a camera. I can't really see it. It's so it's far so, away. It's so far away. It's in the next room. Just it's the about. megalodon. Okay, so hey, messed yeah, up on the messed up on the millimeter as far as <laughs> what we're supposed to do for size. Oh. Whatever. Figures you wouldn't know what's big and what's <sighs> So, uh, but we're getting there. But it see now it's too loud. It's a little bit of progress. It's a little loud. It's a little bit of progress, Mike. A little bit of progress. Look, I'll put my uh, in my bang that way. Oh, bang. Brought to you by Bang Energy. No, it's not. Oh, did you see the owner of Bang has burned his face or something? Oh, really? Social media has like burns under here or something. On purpose. Yeah, no, I, I I don't know. I didn't go back and find out why. It was a picture of him on his Instagram of like burns. Like I'm thinking maybe because he's very vain. I'm thinking maybe he did like the the acid peel. Yeah, yeah, the, and, like, yeah. yeah. They're redoing his office, putting all sorts of marble in and everything. Mm-hmm. So these four guys, these four big guys, are lifting, and he's over on the side acting like he's helping. Nice. Yeah, man. good for him. New flavor came out today. Wait, oh, there's a key, key lime. lime. Ugh. Oh, I'm out. No, no, we got to get the key lime. Stop touching the goddamn microphone. I still want the redaddle, redaddle, skedaddle. Skedaddle, redaddle? I mean, I had it. I thought it was good. I'd like to get in mm, ro- rotation. Oh, so sweet. Yeah. Hmm. Can they not okay. get that yet? I'll ask Mike. Oh, yeah, I asked Mike. Oh, he said, he said no? You can't get it. I asked for the strawberry blast. You can't um, get that either. So oh, are you working on that, though? You're supposed to have a thing to get a strawberry blast? Yeah, I can get you that. Whatever you need. Your nanny? Talk to your nanny? Talk to my nanny. Gotcha. Yeah. Good deal. Oh, don't breathe into the microphone. You can pick that up. <laughs> wow. Well, uh, I got some bad news about the Patreon. I heard that the Patreon was tough to get through. Yeah, I heard that. Was it from your uh, handyman? Yeah. Yeah, he complained from to me, too. He's like, oof, man. Ooh, I mean, a lot water of stopping dripping. Starts. I mean, a lot of chaos at the last <laughs> a lot Patreon. Of chaos going on. You know, your what? wife called. His wife <laughs> called. You had to stop the, the Jesus, drips. Yeah. You had to go weigh something. I'm really sorry about sorry that one. Sorry about that. Hey, you know, they can't all be uh, home hey, runs. We got, a, we got a compliment from Jimmy Van, though. He evidently loved the Patreon. He loved the chaos. He thought it was He well. enjoyed it. The He's breakdown. Had to suffer through the hurricane, the second hurricane I think that hit uh, hit that area. He said it was Louisiana. It was a nice that's escape. Cool, yeah, we got to be over that way somewhere. Dude, I mean, nice. It, feel, it seems like that's how how it always happens with the hurricanes, right? Like it's almost like they God lock in. Hates Louisiana. They lock in. Always this, go there. They lock in this one area. Yep. And, and, now then, and then you get like a couple throwing of them. balls at them now. Just and you know, I don't uh, fuck the meteorologist. I don't understand. I've seen enough hurricanes at this point yes. where I'm looking at one in the Gulf and it's aiming at a specific level. And they're like, oh, it's going to be a category one. The time it hits, it goes, that's a three. All day a three. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, And sometimes I'm off by one and it's a four, but these guys are way off. They're not even close. No. It's, it's like, guess. Oh, the I Doppler is. Guessing. So no need to worry about this one. This is going to be a one. I was like, no, the Gulf is warm. Yep. The Gulf is speed. fucking warm. We all know it gets faster in the Gulf. Right, you can just you could wake up one day and boom, hurricane. Like there, it's not like it's coming from the Atlantic or anything like that. I mean, like oh, you got time to? It's two weeks out. Oh, they've all been coming from like Africa lately. You know? Yeah, I but that, Africa's that, mad at us. Well, that's usually where it comes from. That's usually for us, right? You know, like you start to see it develop, and you have like two and a half fucking weeks to prepare. You know, when something pops up out of the Gulf, you're screwed. And you know, well, there's not not many places for it to go once it gets right, in say, there. Oh, it's in, and so, boom! Like, right. oh, we got one developing. But like, I hate, the, I can't stand the fact that this, the meteorologists are so wrong with this. Like, oh, you'd, it's going to be a one. You think by now the technology would be a little that we'd better. have this under control? You think? You but know, maybe it's just because it's the weather. There is no actual way to predict. I, then I would rather that they overshot it a little bit. You think? Well, they get in trouble for that because they they undershoot every single time. It's because they get they get yelled at when they overshoot. Oh, we're all gonna die! No, we're all gonna die! Well, by plywood, well, board up that. the house, by water. You don't have to say that. You can say, "Hey, it's a cat three. You're not you in know. trouble until they send that one guy. It's a, oh, the yeah. guy from the Weather Channel, Jim. They send Jim. Has he been hiding because of COVID? Yes, <laughs> he's 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 being compliant. Uh, we also now have confirmation that the audio, uh, the reverb, does. 
the, the hum from the, the thing. Oh, yeah, I heard it too. Yeah. Stop touching your mic. I didn't hear it on the video, though. When I listened to the video, well, I didn't catch it. Hmm. Isn't that interesting? I didn't listen to the video this mm-hmm. week. Um, well, that is odd. Mm-hmm. Well, then we know it is uh, this. Then it's something. Something then here. Then we know it's something. Beca- well, that's, that's weird important. because the camera records from here. Right. It's so strange. Is that? That's amazing. Boy, you'd hear that thunder, though, on the Patreon? The, when the thunder hit? There's something else you could, you're yeah. you to complain about. <laughs> no, you're <laughs> boom. boom. Yeah. I was Somebody complain about that? Your handyman. The handyman complained about handyman. the lightning? Oh, we can't control the lightning, handyman. <laughs> what the fuck do you want from me? We've just gone into, uh, what, seven minutes of the show explaining how the weather is not predictable or controlled. Yeah, we ju- I mean, we just touched that on That was all well, we so we could not And the meteorologist should have anything. a better job of knowing, of doing it. Um, what, do you, what do you keep looking at? I got my notes. Why are they so far away? Because I wanted them out of the shot. Oh, look at you. Yeah. I got shit everywhere over here. Yeah. Um, so... You got you. You're doing yeah. this. You're doing this horror flick. Oh, you want to talk about the horror flick? You're yes, we're doing this, the horror. You're doing flick. like this horror thing on, on the Cigar Hustler page. It's a nine episode miniseries. Ooh, nine episodes. Nine episodes. And this is like your first directing debut. Uh, well, it's co-directed. Yeah, co- oh, co-produced, co-directed. No, I'm produce. You produce. Co-directed, co-written. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, co-star. Yeah. Uh, with myself and my partner Chet Atwell. Yeah. Yes. So in the uh, in the last episode, um, your wife. Wait, 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 wait! No, no, that's the new one. Oh, you haven't disclosed that stuff I just sent you yesterday. That's for part. That's for the next episode. Oh no, no, she was in it. She yelled at us. Yelled at me. That was. Well, I'm going to talk about this anyways. That was too. No. Yeah, they can see it. They'll go and check it out. So I just want to. I was just kind of curious. I'm like, was that so far the happiest scene that you have filmed, where you murdered your wife and she was? <laughs> it was not away? me. I'm not the murderer. There is a. There but is you're a the killer. producer, so you said, "Hey, she dies." Oh well, yeah. Well, we and killed, then she we, gets carted away. We killed Chet's wife last week. Right. Yeah. Yeah, but it wasn't as dramatic as this. No, because I thought of other things to do. This, you know, is, this is a little more see, intense. That, that's that's the 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 good part about this, I guess. As we're doing it. We're figuring out how to do different things. You're getting better at it. We're getting better at it. That's the whole reason so why that camera's up right now, because we have no idea how to use that goddamn thing. Right. Uh, you wait till the finale. I mean, we've got so much that's extra be, work gonna, to do. Oh, it's going to yes. be seri- a lot of prep work. Huh? A lot of, oh, yeah. It's, it's a right. serious production. It is. We actually have to start shooting uh, because of, we have, we have a tight shooting schedule. Okay. <laughs> Very tight shooting schedule. <laughs> Uh, we have to start shooting, because we'll have an episode go up tomorrow. Part four, 4 goes up tomorrow. Okay. We have to start shooting part 4 tomorrow to get everything in in time for next Tuesday. We'll see you next Tuesday. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Nice. Yes. So I'm, I was, I in, mean, you I know, was in recording uh, s- s- uh, special effects and sound effects this morning in here. It's definitely interesting. I mean, you know, it's uh, it's entertaining to watch. Uh, it, especially because the fact that I know that this is like your first l- attempt at something like this. Yes. So, you know, it's a fucking mess, and I can't help but, but watch it. Like it's entertaining, right? To see, uh, for one, it's nice to see the production kind of develop, and it's also funny at the same time. Like, wow, some of this shit is off the wall bonkers, right? There's been some like, of the some things just don't make sense yet. The wives have toned us down a little bit because they're like, no, now you're getting too funny. It's not scary anymore. Oh, that, so what? It can be a so comedy we, we do the flick. We do the scripts, and then we, uh, uh, we we bounce them off our wives. Oh, you review it? Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, Season four is on its third rewrite. See, episode four, episode sorry. Four. Episode four has had three rewrites. Wow. That's pretty intense. For things that didn't work. Or we go, oh, wait, what? We did this. You know, mm. this. Okay. Yeah, the, the finale is going to be quite... And then maybe we'll do a Christmas one. I feel like you should have had it all prepared first. You know, well, like, we have, you know, we have all nine episodes. Like, we have out. a book about this. We did. No, no. Okay. We have, well, we were doing it as we go. But as we got into it, we figured out how to do it and everything. We sat down one night and we mapped out the other okay. episodes. Okay. So we know what's going to happen. Okay. But as we're going, we're like, oh, wait. We were going to do this. What if we change it and did this? Okay. This would be quite the spin. I mean, oh, this would be good. Oh, no. Mm. So... Okay. So, and some of the things that you thought were mistakes were on purpose. Ah. Because I won't, it, I won't it, disclose. No, no, because it alludes to different things. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, and you have to look because, like in uh, in episode three, when I run in front of the counter, right, around back. If you look, there's somebody in the humidor moving around. 
Well, you yeah. can see it in the back. You and can that, see my reflection, which was part of the shot because, well, you know, I'm just one second sitting by the camera. So you can see my reflection in the glass, but there's somebody inside the humidor. Well, and, and in, ep- in episode one, there was something hiding in the background uh, when Chet was scared. Yes. Yeah. Yes. That was the first uh, yeah. glimpse you get of the killer. Uh, of the killer. Right. A little Halloween so in, special. In three, the killer is in the humidor you see. It's it's nice. He sees my with a flashlight moving around. I think when it's all said and done, maybe you, you merge it all together. As one big episode for somebody to watch at the end. Oh, well, yeah, you we know. can do that. I think that'd be cool. Um, yeah, Except there's little cliffhangers, though, at the end of each one. Yeah, but when it's all done. Well, then I'd have to take... It's uh, like binge-watching on that. Right, right. You know? It'd be nice to just kind of... Yeah. Because yeah. they're not long. They're only No, we got complaints of the first two. They were too short. So the third one is two and a half. They were all, all one minute. They were going to be one minute. I want th- one thing. One minute's perfect. Uh, it was too short. So the the last episode was two and a half. Minutes. Leave them wanting more, Michael. Oh, they still want more. Okay. There's a cliffhanger at the end of each one. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Y- your wife's dead. Stop. And you had fun dragging her around. I had to wait on a night when she was uh. in a good mood to shoot that. <laughs> By the end of the day, she's very tired from work and everything, and I'm like, well, I'm not shooting Just today. Just lay on the ground. It's not fun. shooting today. I might actually have to kill her. Mm. <laughs> Check out this real graphic footage. <laughs> Wow, that blood looks so real. It's, isn't it? It's so authentic. She really committed to this part. I really hope it's recording over there. Yeah, well, we'll find out soon enough. How much time do we have? 11. We're at 11 minutes. Okay, good. So we're in minutes. good shape. Plenty of time. Okay. I want to touch on this before you start getting it. Uh, you're anxious. I see you messing no, no, with your papers. No, no, just fiddling. So uh, I play fantasy football. Oh. You know oh, about on, fantasy let me football? Go to sleep now. Hold on. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. This is oh. going to be, oh, okay. go ahead. Yes, be pretty yes. epic. Fantasy football. So... Um, I'm, I only do stuff with like family and friends. I don't like to do cash leagues or anything like that. Right. right? You so, have your regular family group. Yeah, I have my family one, and then I have I have my other one. I have my own with my best friend that we I've done since the dawn of time. Oh, just you and another person? Uh, no, so it's like his family. Oh. So there's, you know, and his close friends. Because that's odd, because Chet, neither of us do it. So yeah. you said your best friend, so I figured it was one well, of us. Well, this is my best friend from... Childhood. Yeah, I mean, we've been close oh. since... Oh, okay second or third grade oh, okay and we've done some horrible things growing up you oh. know, together uh so maybe he's the killer maybe maybe that see, wouldn't surprise he, me. he live nearby no he doesn't uh, this is south the, florida you're not the killer so uh last year uh, was the, I've, I've won the most in this this of course this league of you know, course i'm the champion oh, yes. this is yeah, what it champion. is i'm that's sorry there's nothing i can do about it. i can't help it that's why you give all of us sbcs because we are surrounded surround- by champion. the champion that's right yes. that's right yes actually surrounded by champions came from him Oh, John actually. Wow. Yeah, he oh. uh, he did a speech at his brother's birthday, and I was like, "Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, I'm, I'm running that." So, a hmm. uh, little tidbit there. So, so John. Yes. So I beat him last year, and yes. it was like on a fluke. He should have won. He helped me uh, during the year because it, it, the rules are kind of fucked up as far as quarterbacks and stuff like that. Yes. And of course, it winds up being me and him at the end. Of course. And then, of course, he's down on running back. He picks a running back. To make a long story short, that running back didn't do dick, and I won the championship again. Oh, yes. I, yeah, excellent. So, of course you did. So, uh, so I play him in this league week one. Yes. And um, it, was, it could have gone either way going into the Monday night game. Yes. So, we're, so we're, I'm watching the game, and I watched the end of the game, and I lost. And, uh, oh. And yeah, it sucks. It's very sad. And I didn't hear for anything from John, so uh, I went to bed. I let, put my phone down. Apparently, my f- my phone rang, and a, and he called. Yes. And he left a to voice. Gloat. And he left a voicemail, and I didn't hear it. So then he texts me the next day, and I didn't know the, about the voicemail yet. Yes. He's like, hey, uh, you know, he's like, I just woke up. I didn't see how the game ended. It looks like I won. And you're like, you know, just a little gloating, a little gentle, right. um, not over the top or anything man, like that. Man. Yeah, just you know, but. I mean, you know, when you when when you knock Not down the king, a meme of him walking, going eh, when you take eh. when you take down the king, it's a big deal. Oh, slay the king! So, uh, king slayer, king slayer. Oh, John shall now be known the as the king slayer. So, Prince John. So I check my voicemail, and uh, he was so blackout drunk Uh-oh. that he didn't remember the the voicemail. Yes. Oh, do we have the voicemail? Oh, we have the voicemail. Oh, oh, oh. we have the voicemail. Oh. So I text him later. I was like, dude, this is, you know, your fucking voicemail is epic. Half of it doesn't even make sense. But I'm going to play it for you on this podcast. Oh, excellent. So you guys can all hear it and uh, let you know this is kind of the, this is part of my life. This is what I have to deal with sometimes. And it's fucking hilarious. Wait, what? what's going on? Why is it not? 
We can't hear in the headphones now. What do you mean? Can you hear in your headphone? Yes. I don't hear in my headphone. Well, that's good. Oh, Ooh, a lot of noise. Hello? Okay. Oh, we're, oh see? Now that's loose. We're, everything's going to shit here. Something just popped out. What is this? No, no, that's a, that's a dead microphone. And you can't hear yourself right now? No, no, now I can. I touched my headphone cord, <laughs> and it came back on. We're sp- oh, slowly okay. sinking. Right, let's see how this works. As long as you heard me the whole time, we didn't lose anything. Okay, okay. here we go. You ready? Yeah. It's 55 seconds. Hey, Mike, how you doing? <laughs> I go back one of your properties tonight. <laughs> How old is he? Eighty-five? No, he's my age. It looked like a four bedroom, <laughs> five bath. Did you buy a house? Enticing <laughs> property. No right idea. Of Lake Mary. <laughs> anyway, Shh. um, I'm just happy to know that. My team has dominated your ass. <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh, just letting you know, I'm calling you. What a great voice. And in the future, uh, Super Bowl rematches are not supposed to be this cool. Anyway, bye. <laughs> All right, if I write something, can you get him to uh, read it? Uh, into the voicemail, and I can record it for the oh, movie. Oh, I'm sure he's down. Oh, because yeah, that totally. is scary. But like, so you know that. But that is that is completely shit faced, deep voice, right? So what's he like, normally sound? Like no, no, he's still he still has still a deeper deep. he still has a deeper voice. Sounds very old. But, but, I mean, but when you're, you know, when you're that far gone, right? Wow, super impressed. When I'm that far gone. I I, he, I'm not even speaking English. I died laughing. I love the fact that he texted me earlier later on. He's like, "Hey, man! Oh, I just saw one, and you know, didn't even see it." But no, you don't called. explain why. I just go, okay, John, I need you, you to called. call me. I'm not going to answer the phone and read this. And I need <laughs> here. Here, uh, here's the the verbiage that we need. Yes, I need you to say this. Yes. Wow. So the Kingslayer. There it is. I'm sorry, my mind's racing now with things. So many ideas. So, so many, many ideas, ideas. Now with, a, with with a voice that I can manipulate. Now we can do it because otherwise, I'm recording stuff off the internet. Hmm. Uh, and nobody wants to do that. Yes. Uh, today apparently is the anniversary for uh, slab dicks. The thing Skip sent us last year. We came today. Showed it's up. It's a slapdick anniversary. Uh, anniversary of us getting the uh, slap dick sign and uh, happy anniversary slap dicks oh, stickers. God damn it! I don't know if I have my lighter. Come on, hook a brother up. You know, uh, I was told once people in the industry. Should I always have it. Have I have tools. it. I always have it. Fuck well, you. Apparently not. You don't have it. You want me to stop and go get it? No, they don't like that. Yeah, they get mad. Well, at least the handyman does. <laughs> handyman. His new name is the, the handyman. handyman. Say, look. Oh, look. I have a cutter and a lighter in my pocket because I'm in the industry. Well, you know, you're my number two, so you should be carrying these things for me at all times. Oh. Like you do the knife and all those other things. You know? Look at you. Right? Hand of the kings. Very busy job. That's right. Very busy job. Yeah, where's your pen? You don't wear your pen. It's on my shirt when I work. Ah. Uh, I like it. Yes. Okay. All right, Espinosa. Uh, are you ready? Are you, are you done with everything? I'm now? pretty. I'm, I, th- I feel good about feel where good? I'm at. What time do we have? Uh, we're at 19 minutes. Okay. We can do this. You don't have anything? No. It was a pretty quiet weekend for us. I mean, we were supposed to do something Sunday, but uh, Chet had the, the chaos on at the, ca- chaos at, the, at his at house and stuff. So yeah, so uh, it was rescheduled for next week. Looks like Skip's in Miami. I saw that. I asked him if he wanted to be on the show. He asked me if we were coming to Miami. I said, "You want to do the podcast?" He goes, "You want to come to Miami?" I went, ooh, a sleepover. I'm on my way. <laughs> he didn't answer back to that. He just, left, he just dead aired He just dead aired me at that point. He was yes. scared of the commitment. He was, because he knew I would be there. Which would be interesting. With the, the laptop and a microphone and the board. Oh, we should have went down there and done a remote. A remote? Live from Skip Martin's hotel room. <laughs> It's the episode 140 of the Cigar Hustler podcast. I don't know if they let us in at the Roots Colson. I feel like they, we walk in, they know. We're carrying luggage. They'll think we're his people. We're, uh, excuse me, we're his people. We're Mr. Martin's uh, video staff. We're his people. Hey, he, he documents yeah. everything. You know, the one cool thing, uh, kind of getting off subject, is it feels like fall a little bit. Just today. Just today. Just today. It was Today's low fall. 80s. It was nice. I saw some morning. leaves on the ground. Very windy. Little oh, wind. You went out. Did you notice when you came in there was no umbrella? No. Is There's it, no umbrella. Is it gone now? No, that one's gone. Where'd it go? I was getting gas over at Circle K, uh-huh. and I'm sitting here pumping gas, and I see it start moving slightly in the table, 
And then, whoop. so I called Steve. I go, Steve, the umbrella now is halfway to Circle K. Mm. He goes, oh, really? I go, yep. I go, now you've broke all three umbrellas. Successfully broke all of them. And you have one day left. So I don't know what you're going to break tomorrow. I'm going to miss him <laughs> so much. I just can't, uh, you know. Uh, oh, we did have the Pravada Club come in. They did a little video about us. Oh, well, you. How about me? You. And, oh, uh, let's talk about that real quick. We've got 10 minutes. Yeah, we did a little Yeah, you, you arranged that. You set that up. Well, they called me. Well, I understand. Yeah. And then, see, that was, see, you called me at... Twelve fifteen. Okay. Oh, where, so you're where, gonna be angry about where this shit are too. you? I go. I'm eating lunch with my oh, folks. You're so it's angry Friday. all the time. You're like, well, Liga Liga Cigar Club guys are coming in at one o'clock. I wanted to show them the podcast room. I go. It's kind of messy. You didn't tell me. Was it clean when you walked in here? Yeah, everything was piled in my chair over there. That's right. Yes. So haha. <laughs> Oh, you and then I find out the during group their, group inter- group group their interview with group you group group. that you have invited him to be on this show also. Yeah. So, you know, which is exciting. I don't know, not exciting. You're not exciting? No. You're not excited? No. Nope. You should be excited. We haven't had a guest in a while. I don't like people. No, I'm sure it'll go very well. Sure yeah, very come well. on. I hope he wears the hat. I like the hat. I feel like he always has the hat. I think the hat's his thing. It's his signature thing. The hat. Did you notice his mask was the exact same color as the hat? A oh. lot of thought goes into that. Mm, I'm not prepared for all that. <laughs> <laughs> I just want... You might need to actually wear long pants that day, I'm thinking. No. That's, uh, oh, it's next week, I believe. Next week? Hmm. Huh. Do you have information about him? Because. Nah. What was bullshit? Just wing it. Nah. <laughs> I asked a lot of questions about the hat. So, where'd you get the hat? So, oh, that's a lovely hat. It's a lovely hat. What can time I, did you get can the I hat? try the hat on? Can I, uh, no, I mean, it's easy to ask that guy some, a couple of questions. We'll just bullshit with him a little bit. We'll give him, you know, 20, 30 minutes and then let him off the hook. <laughs> and then kick him out the door. Yeah, and then we'll go on to our. All right, news. thanks. We're done. What? Yeah. Is this it? Yep. I, we're done. That's the way we do things. Well, I mean, we'll do a little, like a little interview. We can keep him if you want for the for the note. Nah, we'll, we'll play it by ear. He seems like a nice guy. Does he? Yeah. You know, the, the filter that we're using on that light needs to be pulled down slightly. It's blinding me. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be fine. <laughs> Shining right in my eyes. Uh, well, we got five minutes here. We'll do this real quick. Uh, you know, Facebook clubs. Yeah, you do Facebook clubs. I get thrown oh. in the yeah, yeah, we're talking about this. Oh, there's something happened. I wanted to talk something to you happened. about something that. Something happened over the weekend. I don't know if we want to divulge all this information. What if people sure, get angry? Not? Okay, go ahead. Um, well, people get people are angry, but uh, I get thrown angry. in these clubs all the time, and I don't know if I joined this club, if I got put in this club. I have no idea. Right. It's, you uh, probably didn't join. Let, let's call it uh, the the Grown Cigar Club. Let's call it the Grown Cigar Club. But they, uh, and I post in it. And generally, it's stuff from here, so it gets yeah. deleted. It gets deleted all the time, and I get a mess. And I get that I violated the no promotion rule, or no FSG rule, or oh. mm, well, I don't care. it's, it's out, out there out now. Of, yeah, it's out of the bag now. So I posted several photos in a row, right? That had the FSG cigar in them. Mm-hmm. Now somebody posted a a video of a uh, cigar of the month club, yeah, from a certain shop. Okay, no FSGs in that at all. Right. Was it Abe's? I mean, because it's, it's no. probably a good month club. No. Okay. No, no. It, right. it was the one associated with... Uh, okay. With, okay. With, okay. 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 So then I posted... And that was fine. Yeah, that was fine. I said, oh, dude, so this mm-hmm. is okay. So then I posted ours and tagged a couple of my friends that are in from my group into that group. Yes. Said, hey, we should get this one and the other one, go in halvesies, and then we'll split them all. So I got a message again uh, that my post had been deleted. 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 Because I put up the cigar you know, house my Right, not allowed to promote. Yeah. So I had said something or something. Uh, I don't remember exactly what my comment was. But somebody comment, commented back that, okay, this is Mike Palmer. If nobody else is going to say it, I'll say it. You're being rude. You understand this is a, a club associated with blank cigar shop. Right. This is for their cigars and their cigar shop. So I, and it was a long thing. It right. Oh, long, oh, they, oh, they, oh, they, oh, they, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, they yeah, hit yeah. you. They, they hit me. So I answered back. I go, no, you're mistaken. It is not a blank cigar shop group it is an fsg group the post that i commented on with my month club did not include any of these cigars the fsg cigars right so if you're going to have a rule it should be the same for everybody oh, so uh so i, I said that is the point that i am trying to make here right. and then nobody said anything back 
Now, the post I put up of your article... You're, you're going to get blocked for that shit. I don't care. <laughs> it's like, what are they going to do? Well, you're, Tell you're, me I can't go into that shop and I can't post in their club? Facebook jail. Uh, okay, so go ahead. So the cigar. Okay, so the, the post, uh, I put up a picture of Michael's article that was written in a Fine Ash Cigar magazine. Yes. A wonderful, wonderful article with your picture and the big P behind you on the uh-huh. wall. And then the gentleman who owns that shop, his wife commented on it. Yes. She said... Oh, this is a cheeky post. Oh, uh, cheeky. Cheeky, which is funny, you know, uh, yeah. Russell Lamb, whatever. So I answered back. I go, oh, blanky blank. I go, does this mean now we are friends? And what'd you say? Hello, nothing. Then, I, then I you were blocked. I got dead. No, still not blocked. Still well, not blocked. you know, I mean. But I made my point. Somebody saw it, and they called me out, and I said what my uh, what my complaint was. I mean, if no, you're, I mean, if you're saying that there, you know, standards should be level in the, in the cigar industry. I mean, not in the cigar industry. It's a stupid Facebook thing. It's been that but way I mean, for okay, years. if they're going to delete me because I put up stuff and I'm associated with this shop, then put that you can't, you know, then delete everybody who puts up something besides that shop. I noticed yesterday somebody put up an Angel Share cigar. That's not made by him. Right. And the admin of the group go, "Ooh, that's a nice cigar." Yeah. So, they're just attacking it because of who I'm associated. Of course. With. So that was my point. It's a given. That was my point. It's a given. So I was just a thorn in their side. You, for my friend, four days. are guilty by association. Well, there's yes, nothing you can do yes. about it. No, I don't care. But I mean, then don't put me in. Kick me out. I don't care. Tell me I can't go into your still, shop. But your FCC Cigar Club, Mike. That's why that guy you know, said, if nobody else is going to do this, I know it's Mike Palmer, but the you're legendary. Being, you're being rude. You would not allow this in my club. I said it's the same rule in my club for every single person. It's true. She, uh, his wife, posts stuff about their shop in my club all the time. I like it and comment back on it. Right. I don't care because we're equal opportunists. It's not that big an industry. So Everybody should have, help each other. Work. Don't oh. attack each other and stuff. I mean, there's several the other backstories that we can't get into here of ooh, things ooh, that are Patreon done and juice. stuff. Yeah. Man. Where's the love, Mike? That's Where's the question. Where's the love? Huh? Where's the love? The camaraderie. The camaraderie. The brotherhood. Yeah. And sisterhood. And the, yeah. the, what is it? Brothers of the Leaf, it's called. It's not and Brothers of just of this leaf. one leaf. And the Knights of the Leaf in right. New York with right. John Yogurlite. Yes. Mm-hmm. Is he texting you? He says he's going to text you. No. Me. Oh, he's very busy. My very phone's busy away today. from me. Oh. Smart. Sorry, John. He got mentioned on um, um, uh, Sultans of Smoke this past week. Ooh. I started listening to it. I'm sorry, Danny. I cannot make it through that show. Oh. Is he still on there? Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's good. At least he's keeping busy. Everyone is monotone. No one has any inflection in their voice. Well, I mean, maybe that's just that's constructive criticism. Hopefully, they'll take that and you know they'll get better. They do seem to have uh, figured out the part where you can't tell as easily that they're not all in the same room. It kind of reminds me of some of the things that I'm experiencing on regular TV right now, which is super frustrating. Like Jimmy Fallon's fucking haircut. I mean, dude, There's, there is no regular TV anymore. It's so depressing. It, well, he's there. No, he's in the studio. Oh, is he back in the studio? Oh, yeah, yeah. And he's oh. got, and he's trying to sell like this rugged, uh, kind of defeated look. Weeks. And it's like, dude, you can go to a barber. I don't, you know what I mean? Like, give me a <laughs> yeah, break. Yeah, at this point, you know, at this point, we, cut yeah, your hair. Yeah, it, it's you know, we're further along now. Right. You know, at the you're not selling. And it's not me like he's anything. going to the barber shop. He has somebody. Right. There. Somebody's going to come in. Come, somebody come has to house. be there. They've got they're a gonna, person. They're going to be in a mask. And right. the, you're going to be in a mask. They're going to be in a mask. You're going to get a haircut, and we're going to be appreciative of that instead of you looking like a slovenly fucking. You know. Did you watch uh, real quick? Did you watch any of the Emmys last night? I. You know what? I didn't even know they were on. Lowest ratings in history. I had no idea they were on. They were down 38%. Yeah, because nobody wants to see a fucking Venmo of 75,000 people. It's just like, that's stupid. Right. Oh, thanks for the award. Like, I don't know. Yeah, from home. They did a thing with Jennifer Aniston, mm-hmm. who has finally started to age, apparently, because she looked terrible last night. Maybe she's she been drinking terrible. with uh, Brad Pitt. Uh, well, she uh, she evidently has had some work done, and it didn't oh, go no. well or something. No, it went backwards. Something with her chin, because a lot of the talking, because, you know, these things I noticed, and we got one minute real quick. Uh a lot of a lot of doing this. Yeah. A lot of this. So she oh, she's she, nervous about it. She's she knows that there's something wrong with her chin now. Okay. So it's a lot of leaning and oh only, god, a lot of pondering. But they did a thing where she lived with Courtney Cox and the blonde from the show. Oh, like and, friends. Yeah, yeah. They all lived together in the same house. They were all watching the Emmys together apparently, and then uh, they're like, "We're checking on Jennifer Aniston," and then Courtney walked in, the blonde walked in. She goes, "Hey, dinner's ready. Shouldn't we all go eat dinner?" And she's like this. All right, we're back. Uh, there was a little red screen action, Ooh. I think, there. But uh, 
because we'll we don't know where exactly ends, yeah. where, where we're off. We don't have we don't have full uh, Wi-Fi control of this camera yet, so I don't know when it goes off. You know, it's a it's a process. Yes, yes. As, as you advance, as we, you get better. Yeah. You start learning shit. You know, we've added our old school timer that we used to use now, so throwback. that we can <laughs> throw back back to the original days, so we can tell when that goes off because it's different than this one. It is. Uh, Apparently, 10 seconds is all we might be off. So okay. may, maybe not much of anything. And hey, I got my lighter now. Oh, you went and got your... They gave me back my damn lighter. Because of your bullshit comment. Give me, give me back my lighter. I'm going to throw cigar. it over there. I don't have a cigar to smoke because... Hey, hey. What the hell are you doing? Yeah, why aren't you smoking a cigar? I just finished one uh, right uh, in the middle of the meeting. Just mm. enjoying right another one. You up. know, I have missed this post on you, Habano. I have been smoking it you every know, I prefer the Broadleaf. I thought you made the Broadleaf. I made the Habano. Yeah, I know. I found that out. The I other smoke day. both. I sm- I'll smoke the Broadleaf later on today. But yeah. like, um, well, if damn, they had a gun yeah, to my head and said pick one, I would pick the Broadleaf. Not that either one of them is bad by any means. I got you. I just prefer. Yeah, it you're entitled to your own opinion. But I didn't know it's Greg. That's why you're dead to me. I didn't know it's Greg. Maybe I'll change my mind now. I, I mean, shit. I've been smoking a ton of these. Mm. I've missed that's, it. That's probably why we're out of them. Some sizes. Maybe. No, it's not. Maybe. I don't think so. I think we've... You know, the dealer's not supposed to get into his own supply. Speaking of which, I should... I gotta ask for the Segundos. That kind of helps soften that. There's still some back there from before. No, there isn't. Oh, they're gone? Mm -mm. What are those little tiny Segundos that are back there? No, those are Aquadanes. Oh. Yeah. All right, uh, on Ooh, with the news. Cigar or, news. Cigar with the news. We should do like a whole... Cigar I have news. one, but we just never use it. Oh, okay. Uh, Espinosa releases event-only creme de la Ranja cigars. Well, there aren't a lot of cigar events happening these days, at least not many in-person events. Espinosa Premium pretty good Cigars cigar. is releasing a new event-only cigar that is a combination of the tobacco used on the two of the company's existing lines. Yeah. As the name would suggest, the Espinosa Crema, Crema, Crema de la Ranja draws on the company's Crema and la Ranja lines cream using of a orange. mix of... <laughs> Oh, like a creamsicle. Yeah. Nicaraguan fillers found in each cigar. A Nicaraguan binder and the barber pole oh. wrapper made from the crema's Ecuadorian Connecticut shade leaf and the Laranja's Brazilian grown leaf is is made at the La Zona Cigar Factory in Esteli, Nicaragua. Mm. Uh, this past week, what was it? What night was that? Thursday? What night did they do the event executive? Was that Thursday? No, yep. that'd, be, that'd be Wednesday. Thursday. Thursday? Yeah. Thursday night. Uh, Abe announced that uh, he had the exclusive release of the... Crema de la Ranja oh. cigar, only at Smoke In. Somebody lied to him. Yes. And he had a virtual herf with uh, Hector and Mr. Eric Espinosa himself. Oh, he was tricked. He was tricked, though. Because as I'm watching that video on my phone, I'm sitting at Executive with Jack Tarano and Espinosa Jr., and I was smoking it. Jack was like, hey, we'll just go up there. No one will know. No It'll be no. fine. We'll be under the radar. They ran out of them. They had to uh, substitute It's a good cigar. In. So it's light. It's a lighter cigar. Yes. It's got. It's a little sweet. It's, you know, it's good. Uh, it is good. Let's see. Uh, the company is releasing a 6x52 Toro Vitola and offered it in five count boxes. There is no MSRP for his company is not selling it. And while it's being used for online events and sales initiatives, it will eventually only be available at Espinosa events where Eric Espinosa, Jack Terreno, Richie Ride Otero, uh, or Eric Espinosa Jr. are in attendance. Interesting. Hector Alfonso Sr., the company's director of operations, told Half Wheel that the idea is a Half Wheel article. Give credit. you got to give credit now. Be yes, ahead. Half Wheel. Uh, that the idea of creating an event-only cigar dates back to 2016, and the Alpha Dog cigar, uh, through with FDA regulations looming, the company decided to put that into regular production. With the recent development in FDA regulations on the premium cigar industry, Suspended the company felt indefinite. more confident in revisiting the idea, and Crema de la Ranja came to fruition. The Espinosa Crema de la Ranja will be an ongoing production cigar, according to Mr. Alfonso. Boom. Mr. Alfonso. I guess he ha- they did some type of uh, giveaway in the last couple of days. Did they? And the way it was worded, it looked like you got to go live with Eric Espinosa oh, or something. Did you see that? Oh, man. No. I asked. He said, would that really be a prize? Uh, Hector did. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, well. Oh, you get to go live with Eric Espinosa. Yeah, I, I read it fast. Ah. I said, you get to go live with Eric Espinosa. Uh-huh. It was live. He said that wasn't a prize. I said, well, maybe that could be the runner-up. He said, you should want to live with Jack. I said, the furniture would be all so big. I wouldn't sit in a room. It would be so strange. Be so, like a giant, living in a giant's house. That's pretty funny. I thought so. He thought so. He laughed. I gotta love Hector. I like I like the, the entire group. It's, yeah, they're a good bunch. Yeah. Good group of guys. I just met Junior for the first time. Yeah, he was up here. 
Uh, well, I met him at Executive. I know. Oh, and they introduced us at Executive and then thanked us. Oh, look at you. Yes. They gave a you're, shout out. You're a big deal, Mike. To the Hustler Mafia. How many times I got to tell you? You're kind of a big deal. Now, hustler, you want, hustler, now you want Hustler Mafia. I want Hustler Mafia. Ma- hashtag Hustler Mafia. Mm-hmm. Yes. We want those. We need those to pass out that the, the, the Jester's Night's Out. We will make them. All right. Um, and then at the end, Jack was thanking everybody, but he only thanked the Hustler Mafia for coming out. The Hustler Mafia. <laughs> PCA CRA to host a premium cigar virtual town hall. Oh. Some familiar faces from the cigar industry are going online to discuss cigar legislation and the recent court victories at a virtual town hall hosted by the Premium Cigar Association and Cigar Rights of America. Oh. Maybe this is the first step to uniting the clans. The uniting of the what? PCA and CR. I think they're pretty much merged at this point. Premium Cigar Association. No, not not officially. Oh. Okay. I mean, they only have to bring the two guys in from the PCA. Just the two. It's just the two guys. How how hard that could be. Hmm. Uh, they, they probably share an office now, so they you know, just need a desk. Right. Uh, can now register for the event, which is scheduled to last about an hour. Registration is free of charge. The featured speakers include Carlos Fuente Jr. Okay. Uh, Jorge Padron. Uh huh. Rocky Patel. Ooh. Craig Cass, owner of the Tinderbox chain of stores in the Carolinas. Okay. Michael Edney, legal counsel for the CRA and the PCA. Joshua Haberski, PCA Director of Federal Affairs. Mm-hmm. Mike Koperman, CRA Legislative Director. And Greg Zimmerman, owner of the tobacco company. John Anderson, owner of uh, W. Curtis Drapper Tobacconist. I don't know who that is. Scott Regina, owner of Emerson Cigars. And it says here, Mike Stepan Cabbage from Cigar No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't say that. No. <laughs> The speakers will talk about the recent court decisions to strike down the deadline for substantial equivalency, a key FDA product approval. In addition to discussing recent legislation happenings, the speaker also plans to cover future strategies and to explore ways to increase cooperation between retailers and the manufacturers to ensure future growth and success. You know, the funniest thing to me was... Um, Did I mention your name on the list? No, that was, uh, that was funny, too, but no. <laughs> Something wrong with my chin. I remember doing a, 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 like, they had a meeting at PCA, and they were talking about substantial equivalency, and they're like, oh, well, we haven't seen the forms, or, you know, nobody can get them, they haven't released them yet, blah, 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 And then my boy Andrew Wood had the substantial equivalency form. form. Oh. So it just kind of makes you wonder, you know. So they could get it, but they didn't have it. Yeah. Oh. Well, yeah, you, sometimes you got to poke around a little bit in the website. Right? you got to submit something. you got to call a guy. You know, you got to speak to You got to know somebody. Yeah, you got to want to see Hank in the uh, in the trench coat. Maybe you know, there's only two of them. Maybe, uh, <laughs> maybe they don't have Wi-Fi. So I, you know, that was pretty funny when that went down. Maybe that's I, like I, the, that's one of the cuts they had to make. No Wi-Fi in the office now. So should we try wa- watching that? What, what day is that? I don't know. There's no uh, nothing oh, says. Just, oh, we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. No date of when to be determined. But it, the the press release press release was on uh, 918, so just a couple of days ago. Ah, uh, okay. So it didn't say when. Mm. Mm. So maybe you should go online and register. It's only an hour. Yeah. How, what can they get done in an hour? You can get, I mean, we get a lot done in an hour. Every yeah, but, week. But there's two we of us. hammer. There's down. 17 of them. I am job. Take that long for them to all introduce themselves. <laughs> Do you know who I am? 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 I am Carlos Fuente. I knew you were going to say that That's one. the first name on the list. Yeah. I knew you were going to go All there. right. McAuliffe Cigars announced today that it is ending its sales yep. relationship with Meyer and Dutch, <coughs> Cigars oh. International, and Thompson Cigar. Mm-hmm. So who's going to carry them now? They're going to do it with everybody. <laughs> the move is meant to strengthen the commitment of McAuliffe Cigars is made with the brick-and-mortar community. The <laughs> uh, and then there's a press release. It just, this sounds like we've been dropped by all the big boys. No, we need to. Find you know what? We're out of here. <laughs> We're out. We've been kicked out of worse places. <laughs> Uh, you know, it's Better really people than you have said they're not going to carry my cigars. So, 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 CI is no longer Callier and McAuliffe, is what you're pretty much saying, right? Yeah, CI and Thompson. And Thompson. Well, I think they're the same. Are they the same now? Yeah. I think. Oh, that's right, because Thompson moved up north. You're right. Well, I think CI bought Thompson. Yeah. Well, somebody bought Thompson. Hmm. But they list two of them. It sounds somebody more official. Somebody brought a monkey, and the monkey knocked over the salad bowl. Wait a second. Hans. Hans. That's a Let's reference see. you won't uh, get. No. McAuliffe Cigars yeah. no longer sells the Meyer and Dutch Cigars and National Thompson Cigars. Okay. Cigar.com. Additional McAuliffe Cigars buying back their inventory today. Ooh. Ooh, buying back. Buying back. That means it's not going to be a dollar. Somebody looked at them and said, hey, look, we're going to take our money back. <laughs> today announced place local-owned uh, brick-and-mortar retailers as the exclusive retail channel for McAuliffe Cigars. Yeah. 
So our cigars are so good, we only have one of them. Well, the hard, here's the difficulty with, you know, selling to CI is it's, it's kind of hard to unring that bell. You you sell know. your soul. I mean, if what you, you can't, I mean, you can do it and you can regulate it properly. But you better be established at that point. Like, you better already, you know, know exactly what the fuck you're doing. You can't go to CI with, like, oh, shit, we just sold $40,000 worth of product. And hell, yeah. You yeah, know, like, high five. Like, way to go. Like, when you go in with that mentality, well, that kind of direction. Buy three, get one. What are they doing? Right. Like, that's where, you know, that's where your brand starts to kind of implode. So, hopefully that, you know, it's going to be, I mean, it's the right move, I think, long term for the company. We'll see what direction it goes in. But it's it's a hard bell to unring, man. It's a hard bell to unring. Uh, let's see. Brick and mortar stores are the heart of the cigar community. They are yeah. incredibly important to our industry. 2020 has been a difficult year to us. Together with our retail partners, we continue innovating to better serve our consumers and ambassadors in an excellent manner, said Al McAuliffe, founder of McAuliffe Cigars. Right. So, we wish the best of luck to McAuliffe. Cigars and National sees themselves as the Amazon or Walmart of the premium cigar industry. We know the damage their corporate idols have done to Main Street businesses across America. Wow, they just slamming the whole thing. We will not be part kind of, of their strategy. On there. We are focused on the success of brick and mortar. Amazon comes to my house once a week, at least. <laughs> at least. I get a card from them if I don't buy something. <laughs> hey, it's, it's been two days. Uh, we're worried about you. We're worried about you. McAuliffe Cigars continues to increase their investment in brick and mortar shops to drive retail sales. The classic in-person retail event. Where they're spinning this really well, aren't they? This is a long-ass article. All right, enough of that. All right, Michael. On with just regular news. Now. You know how I feel about press releases. I know how you do. Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade 2020 will not be a live event. What in the fuck? The Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade, as fans have come to know it, has been formally canceled for 2020. Oh, Due good. Due to the ongoing coronavirus pandemic. You gotta be kidding me. New York City Mayor Bill Blas- de Blasio made the announcement on Monday saying that instead of a live event, the team behind the parade is working on something unique. It will not be the same parade we are uh, used to. It will be a different... Did I hear that? Yep. Damn it. Uh, it will be a, a New York City mayor the reinventing the event for the moment in history and you'll be able to feel the spirit and joy of the day on television online and not a live parade but something that will really give us warmth and the great feelings we have on Thanksgiving Day what are they going to do? <laughs> all animated it's all such animated. horse shit like why can't you just do it and have everybody wear masks too many people too many people look at all the protests we had that's no problem yeah but the protest wasn't organized look at all so. the Say somebody gets sick, they sue Macy's. <sighs> we, you put some signs up. You're all responsible for yourself. I can't. Read. I can go to Universal. I can't read. Nine. Yeah, but not as many people as would show up for that parade. How are they going to keep people out of the So street? don't let anybody show up. How are they going to stop people? Close it off. <laughs> Do a little strip. This isn't hard. The, like, you know. But the. the, the no. Yeah. You know what? Yeah. I, I no, tell you. no, no. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Wait. The show should go on. Like, what? You know, where is the sack of this mayor? Well, is it gone? Did he take? Did somebody take it? Apparently, it is because Macy's Thanksgiving Parade is not the only big New York City holiday event to be canceled due to COVID. The lighting of the tell me the lighting of the tree's gone. Rockettes Radio City Music Spectacular has been postponed. In That's statement. it. That's uh, it. Our news. <laughs> We We're regret that the 2020 ridiculous. production of the Christmas Spectacular star in the Radio City Rock as presented by Chase has been canceled due to continued uncertainty associated with the COVID-19 pandemic. There was 21,000 fans in the Dallas Stadium. On, uh, during oh, the, that's, that's one block Give of the me parade. a fucking break. I don't care. You should do something. New Yorkers, they don't want to go. They don't want to bullshit. They I don't want to get go. sick if uh, I go to this thing. Huh? Okay, let me tell you something. New Yorkers are probably the most boxed up th- of, of everybody this entire time. They've probably been squared away for eight fucking months. <laughs> You know they want to do something. They're like, hey, can't we just do hope it's all CGI? Can't, they just can't have we cameras just... set up in the empty streets and <sighs> they put stuff in and it just runs around. I watched uh, Gemini Man over the weekend. Hey, let's all just wear a mask. The Will Smith movie yeah. where he, where his younger thing I is heard killing. It was bad. Was it bad? Uh, well, okay, the movie's not bad. But special oh. effects are terrible. Oh, boy. It was so bad I had to watch it to the end. That's how bad it was. Oh, he's looking past the so other then it guy. Worked. Yeah, I mean, you can tell that he's not there. I mean, they CGI the young guy in, but he's looking. I mean, uh, he's he's looking past him every time. Mm. And then when it's a CGI running guy, who oh, he's so fast. Couldn't yeah. they put him in normal human speed? No, apparently no. not. Apparently not. And at one point, no. there's like 17 Will Smiths running around. Ugh. But it was funny. They asked him. Uh, they, they were talking to him. He's on an airplane or something. And they're getting background from the old guy, and he's asking, "Where? Like, where are you born?" He says, "Philadelphia." I looked at my wife, just started laughing. She goes, what? And I go, Philadelphia, where I was born and raised. Uh (laughs) 
I'm sure fresh, that's why they did the that. The Fresh Prince of Bel Air. It's out of the plane, honey. Sure, that's why <laughs> sure they did. That's why they did it. So I, you know, I moved in with my uncle and my auntie in Bel Air, and uh, <laughs> and, and then, then I joined the, the military and, and I, became a sniper. And they shipped me off <laughs> to sniper school. They shipped me away. Uh, they were, my mother was There's really some, upset. Some guy came in, and started dancing. And he goes, "This is my cousin." This, he's great. He's got. He's, <laughs> he's got great. Fantastic dance moves. All right, we have bad news, Michael. Oh God, I'm sad. It's very sad. It, it can't be worse than New York just fucking packing oh, it, it in. It is. It is. Really? Yes. Ruth Bader Ginsburg oh, died. Oh, RBG. She gets yes. a solemn single gong. The liberal teacher or leader of the Supreme Court R-B-G. and a trailblazing champion of women's rights died Friday. She was 87 years the old. The notorious. The Supreme Court said in a statement that Ginsburg died surrounded by her family at her home in Washington, D.C. due to complications of metastatic pancreatic cancer. She's been struggling for a while. Yes. Yeah. Seen as a moderate with President Bill Clinton nominated her to the bench in 1993, Ginsburg went to leave strong, lasting marks in the realm of gender equality, civil liberties, and pay equality, and grew to achieve impossible late-in-life recognition as a pop culture icon yeah. and hero of the progressive She movement. was a trailblazer. Her first major opinion as a justice came in 1996 when she wrote the majority decision of the United States versus Virginia. The ruling struck down the Virginia Military Institute's 157-year-old policy of male-only admissions as unconstitutional and set a stricter legal standard for government action that treats men and women differently. That is sad. So we like to give that is a sad, but there's nothing I can do about a that. A moment of silence, please, Michael, for the move. I don't think we should do a moment of silence. Should you have another gong? I think that, uh, yeah, yeah, go, go ahead, another gong. Okay, there we go. We're sorry to the Ginsburg family. Our hearts go out to them. Yeah, Ginsburg. you know, that is sad. She was, a, she was a trailblazer. She was. You know? It's a name everybody knows. The Notorious RBG. All right, now we have two stories about the Florida man. The Florida man? That's a thing they do about stories in Florida. Oh, you go, you go to the site for... No, no, I find these and just name them Florida. Oh, they're in, but, oh okay. But. Teachers complain parents are appearing behind students in online classrooms half-dressed and smoking or drinking. This made national news. It was first reported by Channel 9, and it's made national news. Because it's only news. going on in Florida. Florida parents okay. appearing half-dressed, drinking or smoking during their kids' virtual classroom has prompted teachers in a Boca Raton elementary to speak up during a school board meeting this oh, week. Oh, it's definitely going on in Boca. Edith Pride was one of the first to make public comment on the matter. One teacher is asking parents to avoid appearing in virtual classrooms with big joints in their hands, cigarettes, among other things. In a school board meeting Wednesday, Boca Raton elementary teacher Edith Pride it's delivered therapeutic. a colorful message to parents. Parents, please make sure that you have on proper clothing when you're walking behind your child's computer because we've seen them in the drawers, their bras, and everything. Listen, you've wanted that. You wanted this, okay? You wanted them away. This Actually, is what you get to deal with now. Actually, we, have, we have three stories. Okay, you have three now. Okay. But look, I, look, you know, let's review here. I, you know, the really funny part about all this is, yes. you know, I think that there's like a window in Florida for when you can switch back, like after uh, certain counties. Volusia yeah. County's not doing it. Oh. Yeah, because they... Orange fuck. and Osceola is... So if you committed at the beginning... You committed, you're in. You're in for online. You're right. Okay, well, there's a couple of, There's a couple of counties where you can shove them back. Oh, there's I, some counties where you can pick daily. Oh, wow. Well, I guarantee you, as this continues to progress, more people are going to oh, be shoving gonna their be kids shoving them back into school. In, yeah, of right. course. This is too it, much work. It's hard. Less, less people are getting sick. Send them back now. Well, I mean, yeah, you know, I think that they should be wearing masks, and you know, we got to get back to normal. We're, you know, it sucks. You got to keep trying. You got to keep trying to make progress. You can't just shelter in place. It doesn't work. Doesn't work. And that leads us into our next story. Oh, Florida sports bar will ask customers to leave if they wear in a mask. These days, most businesses have a no mask, no service policy. But one restaurant in Florida, it's actually in Melbourne, is causing quite a stir after banning masks from establishment. On September 11th, an idiot. the owner of Westside Sports Bar and Lounge in West Melbourne, Florida, hung a sign on the front door announcing that masks would be prohibited as of September 15th. The reason he's doing it is because yeah. during the pandemic, they have been robbed by a man wearing a mask, and they could not be identified on the video footage of the thing. So now when you come in, you have to take your mask. That's fucking ridiculous. It's just a way to get on the news. Now everybody's talking about his, about his restaurant. Everybody wants to go because you don't have to wear a mask. You don't have to wear a mask here. Well, you should tell it to the news. You have your own right. Yeah, if news. you don't want to wear a mask, you, you a lot know. of people ask them, "Do I need to wear a mask?" And you go, "No." They go, "Oh, thank God!" And they take right. the it's, thing it's your own your own preference. I said, "I will put one on if it makes you feel safer. Otherwise, we will stand six feet apart." Well, you should always put one on if you're working. I smoking. Yeah, and then I can't say anything. Hard to smoke with that. I've tried. It doesn't work. Can't fire me. Because then you have to pay me. Mm. Okay. All right, Michael. Final story. 
We're uh, we got ten minutes left. Ooh, That's funny. Ten minutes. This timer Ooh, runs up. This off. timer runs down. It's very odd. Very hard to look between the two. Mm. <clears throat> a man shoots a doctor after ejaculating during a prostate exam. Like he sh- <laughs> Was this in, this is in Florida? This is in Florida. Of course it's in Florida. 56-year-old so, man from Florida shot his doctor twice in the chest, close range, for giving him an orgasm during a prostate exam. Milo Johnson fled the state of Florida on the day of the incident, Holy which shit. took place on August 22nd. I feel like, I mean... Luckily, the doctor the doctor he shot survived the gunshot wound as he had now. The, the man, he carried a vest. The postman uh, shoots doctors after ejaculating during a prostate exam. Appeared first in the newspaper called the Zambian Observer. Come on, this can't be real. <laughs> it's a real story. I heard it on the radio and then went and found it online. How? But like, how did that? How happen? long is that prostate exam last? <laughs> it's like I gotta see if it's. <laughs> he massaged the glands. He hit the glands. He hit the gl- well. They're checking the glands for swelling. But oh no, I mean, god! I mean, it's normally like, and then you're done. I mean, like, could he not find it or I mean, something? If it was successful, you figure that he'd schedule another appointment or something. <laughs> You know, it's like, wow, that Apparently guy, that guy he, can hit the buttons. He got mad, went out to the car, got the gun, came back in, shot the doctor. The Holy chest. shit. Boom, boom. I'm not gay. Wow, boom, boom. that's some crazy shit. <laughs> Only in Florida. I'm not gay. Only in Florida. I'm not gay. Bang, bang. <laughs> what do you hit him with? What, 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 what do you have, like a fucking 22 or something? It didn't shit? say, but the doctor lived. So, no. But the doctor lived, but the doctor's got two holes in him. Well, he evidently didn't hit center mass. So, you know. I hear a lot of crackling. Yeah, can you imagine? Can you fucking imagine being like, you know, can you imagine? <laughs> oh, being, uh, Doctor, Mr. Jones is back here. We'd like to ask you a few questions. Can you be? Can you <laughs> boom, boom. imagine being such a fucking idiot that you go back yeah. in? Oh my god, that's too much. Maybe it's one of those with the where he, you know, the what's the what's you the joke? Thanked him. What's what's the joke? The doctor's giving me a, a you know you're in trouble when you feel his hands on your shoulders during right, the prostate right. exam. Is that yeah. what the joke is? Maybe. But like I thought, that, I thought that you didn't have to do the whole prostate thing anymore. I thought that they could just determine it oh, via know. blood work. I don't know. Maybe yeah. this doctor maybe this doctor prefers. <laughs> a doctor walked in and said, watch this shit. Fucking <laughs> bam Hold my stethoscope, nurse. <laughs> I need both hands. You wanna see some crazy <laughs> shit? Watch this guy. I'm gonna hit the button. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> bang bang Shot him dead. He didn't die. <laughs> guy's obviously a terrible shot. Maybe his hands were still shaky. Yeah. The guy's obviously, you know, and I feel sorry for his wife. <laughs> uh, I thought that was hilarious. All right, we have a do show you, update. Do you think we'll get when he gets here. out of jail, he goes home and he's like, no, listen. We have seven I minutes. Want, I want Make you to think point. about this for a second. I'm going to need you to shove two fingers in my <laughs> ass. Okay? It's going to, it'll be, will work out great for both of us. It's, uh, there was a movie. Where, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, it was Stifler, but he, it, yeah. was, it was that actor. Was it like Road Trip or something? Something like that, yeah. Yeah. And then the rest of the movie, he's trying to it's find like, somebody to give like, it to him again. He's like, okay. He's like, four fingers? Better make it five or something <laughs> like that. I was like, holy shit. <laughs> it's uh, too much, man. All right. We would like to welcome uh, Guadalupe Ooh, to the uh, Guadalupe. Cigar Hustler Podcast family. We have now a listener in Guadalupe. I'm not sure where it is. I had to look, see even if it was a country. It is a country, apparently, somewhere in South America. And Guadalupe. Now at, maybe Skip will send us a picture of the flag. <laughs> you fucking idiots. You fucking idiots. Here's a Guadalupe. Uh. <laughs> All right. Uh, we got a, The camera could be off again. Uh, I was wondering if we got a prostate exam. <laughs> in Guadalupe? Yeah, while he's listening to the podcast. Oh, hmm, maybe. Can't shoot anybody. All right, everybody. This has been episode 100. Oh, you don't have a listener of the week or nothing? No, we don't have a listener. Come on. You got to have a listener. I don't have a listener of the week. Nobody, nobody, nobody reached out. out. Nobody reached out? Nobody reached out. Wait, somebody sent you a nice message. You sent we me a text. It was Jimmy Van. We already commented on that. So why? Oh, the other gentleman. I don't remember what his name was. Oh, I can oh, look real quick. Yeah. I mean, come on. Hold on. Hold on. Now that I'm not using let's give some. Let's yeah. let's show some love. Show some, some appreciation to our audience, God damn it. You really kind of, you know, you kind of drifted away on that. Mm-hmm. Phil, Michael, do, Phil. Do, Phil. Do, 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 do. Julian Spring is listener Boom. of the week. Julian. Mr. Spring uh, sent us a nice message. I love the podcast, by the way. You and Mike S. have one of the best shows out there. I Bam. listen religiously. Thank you very much, Julian. Thank you, Mr. Nice Spring. We appreciate it. We'll give you that <laughs> another gong. Oh, I, get, Ruth got two, so you get three. And I apologize for Mike Palmer not doing his fucking job. But it's oh, kind of my life. You. you know, look that's just what I have to deal with. Comes in here, sits down in his shorts and his flip-flops. No show They can't see the waist down. It's like a Zoom meeting. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, we got to go. Michael's got places to go. He's got, I he's, got he's places. He's a busy, very busy man. Call your ass an Uber. I got somewhere to be.
that from a movie too? No, it's from a Drake song. Oh. I think. Oh. All right. All right, guys. Thank you very much. We'll uh, see you next week. Oh, we're going to announce the winner, too, of the uh, ashtray thing. Today. We don't know what it is. Yeah, you didn't we'll draw it yet. I'll have to do that. All right. We'll do it later. Bye. Bye. This has been a Cigar Hustlers podcast, a Mike and Mike production. Be sure to listen every Tuesday at 10 a.m. for all new episodes. Hi, I'm doing I'm Husto <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we just don't have to do a single uh, single podcast ever again. Perfect. Ever. I'm good, Mike and Mike. How are you guys doing? <laughs> the Hojo de... Ma- Hojo! It's the Hojo! <laughs> the Monterey... You didn't even let him fuck it up all the way. <laughs> right, the I ho- gotta get past Hojo! Go on. I, I don't even have to try to hit He's the record. Gonna try. We're, gonna, we're gonna cover a lot of ground here, Mike. All right. Try to keep up. That's a sign of a good podcast. Maybe you know? like <laughs> four cigars when I walked in the door. All right, end this.